Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today we're going to play some more Armor Core 6. Let's go ahead and check some things out. Um, last we played, we'd done a little bit of grinding to try to get some ranks and money so that we could upgrade some stuff. And I'm curious about trying the sortie on the boss that I got stuck on. I think it might have been one or two streams back. So let's do a little look at our AC design and see what we got before we hop in. I'm not sure if the tank is the best way to go or something more nimble, but we'll give it just a second. Probably something that can dodge well. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Let me think. I don't know, I might just try this heavy hitter as it is and see how it looks. Okay, here we go. This will be our third sortie together, Raven. I'm quite enjoying the routine. Main system, activating combat mode. Here we go, tourist. All right. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. Hmm, I'm also curious if getting all those crazy missiles might be a good idea. Those two big missile packs. I think I've got one of them equipped this right now. This elevator goes straight to we'll the top see. of the grid. The outer shell. This pile driver Sadly, weapon, I have to get very close, so I'm going to have to save it probably for when I get a stun. The PCA satellites see everything. A few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge, went out to prove themselves. You can guess what happened. Listen for the little whooshing sound, I think, is when they dodge. I waited just a split second too long. This whole satellite thing. We're not far from the cargo launcher. Intruder detected near both facilities. Might as well clean up while you're here, tourist. Never did care for the upstairs neighbors. Okay, who's left? with my pile driver. Oh, stunned me. Darn it. Okay, 
Okay, I'm reloading the big gun. Has a massive reload time. Just get on with it once. Yeah, happy to be there. Oh, I think I might have had to go. Try a ladder build that might make it a little more uh, suitable for dodging and stuff. I think I'm gonna save this one and we'll go from there. Let's see. I'd like to save this one if I can. Oh, here's all my, res my presets. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that as we beat these that actually unlocked them too. That's cool. Okay. Um, let's see. Maybe I can come in here and save it somehow. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see any way to save it. At least not from the uh, in mission menu. So let's change this out to the big missile launcher. And I want to experiment. I'm afraid that this pile driver 1688, I mean, it's nice, but I had to get so close that I'm worried it's going to be a problem. Um, let's try this detonating bazooka instead. And what about our arm? What do we have here? We have the same thing, detonating bazooka. How about we just try something with constant damage, like the Gatling? And let's try it with these three changes before we go too much further. Step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Okay, this might make a difference. Great. You found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left a lot of con. Now what's it doing here? Yes, he was in the mud. shields to help me out with some of these barrages he's doing. Like the pulse buckler or something. But I'm gonna try a nimble build first. See if that does better. I feel like my tank is just not able to uh, generate boost and dodge out of the way enough. I wonder if uh, long range is the ultimate way to get this guy. We'll give it a few more tries and if we still aren't feeling good we'll Go back and grind some more. Okay, and let's get, see what is the best boost we can get. Okay, there we go. And I wanna go with long range. Looks like I'm already on it. Okay. Um, the Gatling was doing okay, but I wonder if I should do something else. This one's the charging, 112. Laser handgun, 175. Let's try the plasma rifle. And let's go over here. 1075. Number of total rounds is higher. Weight improves. Impact goes down though. 
So maybe we'll keep it as is. Okay. It looks like the missile system might still be the best thing for me. Okay. And let's check out these parts. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I've been playing with a under-equipped head for a little bit here. Um, I think I have been. Looks like most things are better. Quick boost reload. Ah, uh, no, I've been using this for the boost, that's why. But, I don't know, these are significant enough that I feel like maybe they they should be used. Um, as long as it doesn't overburden me. Hmm. Quick boost speed goes up by one point. Yeah, I don't think that these stats are enough to make it better, so the Melander seems like the best thing I have at the moment. And let's look at quick boost speed and energy consumption and stuff like that. I would bet that if I change out this core, that will... Oh, I'm not overburdened, right? Good. Okay. thought for sure I would be. Let's see how these stats change. Okay, I could get a little bit more of a boost about energy consumption. Does any of it ha help? Six reload time down a bit. 0 0.90, 0 0.87, let's try it. And I don't think I'll be able to get the legs. Yep. Okay. What about the generator? Anything here to help? So this will give me a quick boost every 0 0.6 seconds. 308, 351. Let's try this one. I think that it may be the best overall for what I need to do in this fight. Okay. And I could be wrong, but we'll try it at least a couple more rounds because I feel like I'm slowly starting to understand the pattern here. And like I said, I may still end up getting like a pulse buckler or a shield or something for this round. I'm not sure what the right way is going to be, but we'll see. Wait. Enemy detected. It's on me, but it's all right. Oh, well, I'm destroying me already. I take that many hits when I've got boost but no armor, so I have to just focus on boosting, I suppose. I think as close range is where its forte is, we need to be at least at medium. I don't know how I want to beat this thing with the amount of ammo I have either. This seems now, way too inside. low. Wait. Enemy detected. is helping me avoid it. I just have to get the timing right. I'm consuming a lot of energy and 
from losing out on that. Give it a couple more tries. I think I'm also sticking a little too close to it, so I'm gonna try to back up. Oops. Now if you can just step inside. Enemy detected. That's why this guy is too good. No repair kits remaining. AP has been protected. AP has been protected. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to quit that one and we'll try grinding for a bit because I feel like I'm just missing a key piece or some strategy. Might watch a few videos on YouTube and see what's uh, out there on tips for beating that guy because I'm having a toughest time. All right, let's see. So this one I think is a level that requires having a false weapon. And let's see. I think that I'll go with, stay with the deadening bazooka and missile launchers will be okay. And let's see if we can tear these guys up. Oh, I didn't actually change the left hand. I thought I did. Here we go. I haven't ranked on this one yet. I think it, it's the one go. with the uh, stealth enemies that are tricky. Main I can't remember if it has a boss on it too, but we'll see. Commence mission. Yeah, this is definitely the one with the invisible enemies. I've been checking the perimeter, and I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? It's too quiet. Watch out, 621. Now that I can quick boost, it should be a different story. that one in time. Here we go. Good. MDD. Encoded comms. Was that mech behind what happened here? 621. Continue the investigation. We don't want to really open up the switch. We want to we'll come get us. According to the blueprint, there's a massive 
water reservoir deep inside the arsenal. If there's anything waiting for us, that's my missiles look comically large on my tiny mech. Like, look at that, it's like a third of the mech. <laughs> what the PC is Wait, in this game? Three this part. Okay, that guy's using like some sort of laser whip. It's awesome. Okay, where's our last one? There we go. Shifuya. All clear. Keep going, six two one. Just realize these are supposed to be shipping containers. Gives you an idea of how big these mechs are, it's crazy. Even in the future, they still use the same kind of shipping container. Is that a coral response? 621, get down and take a closer look. So far, so good. If this keeps up this pace, I think I might be able to beat this one without as much difficulty as the first time. These guys were so tough for the first time. Alright, where are you at, buddy? Finish them off. AP at 50%. There we go. Seems that's the last of them. Okay, good. Way easier. I feel pretty good about that. Okay. I want to see how to save my design. It's got to be a way. Oh, there's an AC test mode too. I didn't realize that. Okay. So how do I actually save it? I think that's how you spell missiles. Okay. 
That way we won't have to go through reconfiguring everything. So it feels like a decent build. And let's go into training. Do another round of it. We'll do the tetrapod training. Maybe we'll unlock something that can help us beat the spider. Tetrapod leg units have high loading capacity and enable AC builds equipped with multiple heavy weapons. Tetrapod ACs can switch to hover mode after ascending off from the ground, allowing them to remain suspended in air, hover mode on and off, and L, and square, quick boost. Oh man, this could be it. Maybe this is how I do it. Uh, I wonder. So it didn't have the best of air defenses. It had good ground game, but I don't think it had air. Interesting. Charge attacks and fire from enemy weapons such as grenade launchers cause more recoil than other attacks, forcing AC to assume a firing stance. Tetrapods are capable of absorbing this kind of recoil allowing these attacks to be executed during movement. Okay. Maybe this is what I've been moving on. I think the level design might have slightly hindered at it too, the leaps between platforms. So, I think I might grind a tiny bit. Then maybe I'll just do both of the trainings and I'll try that level again. Hyper mode allows you to maintain a high altitude in turn, making it easier to establish a line of fire and lock on without geographical obstruction. Okay. Tetrapod legs, maybe? Oh, grenade launcher. Hmm. Wonder what the sets are like on it. Let's do this other training. Alright, tanks. Tank leg units are heavily armored and boost boast excellent loading capacity. In addition to lending themselves to highly durable builds, they are also good candidates for high firepower assemblies. Tank type ACs are capable of absorbing recoil, which allows them to fire heavy weapons without entering a firing sense. Hold R2 and L2 rapid fire both weapons. Is this a double Gatling? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, tank top ACs can drift to quickly change the direction they are facing. Execute a drift, move L in the direction you want to face immediately after a quick boost. Okay. I'm not exactly sure if I got this cranked, but let's see. Oh yeah, I see it now. I see the torso, like where the impacts are, and they're changing direction. That's cool.
see if we can get this petrified down. Come on, little buddy. Too strong. Advanced mercenary certification. Simply your own AC complete evaluation. Okay. Maybe we'll try that here in a bit. Um, I do want to try one more round on this guy and see if we can make a difference. Um, this grenade launcher sounds pretty enticing. It sounds like an improvement overall on my other stuff. Um, let's see about that vertical launcher too. See, is this it? Yeah. We have one over here? We do. I wonder if these can make the difference in uh, taking out this dude. See, these are both verticals. Okay. Good. And we have a grenade launcher now. And I want it to change from pulse to something else. I'm thinking something obnoxious like the assault rifle. Let's just do it. Okay. All right. This is feeling interesting. Um, I am a bit worried about my armor level though, but let's just try it out. Oh, you know what? I wanted to try the tetrapod legs too. That was the other piece that I was thinking about. Okay. And we have 159,000. Let's look in the parts shop before we actually go in here because I want to see if we have legs. Okay. First joint might be fun to try too, um, but we don't have quite enough money, so let's try uh, this guy, and yeah, go from there. If we're still having problems, we will grind a few more times before the end of the stream and Main call it a day. Activating combat mode. Here we go, tourist. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. This elevator goes straight to the top of the grid. The outer shell. Sadly, that's beyond my territory. I mean, once you're out there, the PCA satellites see everything. A few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge went out to prove themselves. You can guess what happened. Okay. We've arrived at the top. Sending you new marker data. This is hard to set. At this altitude, we're within firing range of the PCS satellites. Intruder detected in forbidden sector. Repair kits remaining. Okay, I'm doing okay on the jumps. Missed that first one a little bit. Oh, missed that one too. Brute force is then. PCA security system. Don't get fried. That's an extremely powerful laser. Here we go. 
Okay. Took them out pretty quickly. That's what I like to see. Let's get the cargo launcher ready. All right. Let's see if these missiles do any better. Access the container. I just have a good feeling about the hover. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. That machine. Wait. Yeah, this feels like this could be the way. That tourist is a sea spider. As long as I can dodge when I'm on the ground. pretty quickly. Let's try again. Do a couple more experimenting with this build. If I can get in there and stay there, I think that I could be good. And I wonder if I should be trying to look for a terrain to use, but there's not much because it's just going to keep knocking down these chunks of metal, I think. Now, if you could just step inside. Oh, I didn't stay there long enough. If I can just get up high enough, I can take it, I think. feeling better, but I still don't feel like I'm getting the damage per second that I need to be able to like fully take a sky on, so let me see if I can put Gatling guns on it, at least on the one side. Oh, energy shortfall. Um, let's see if we can change some stuff, because now I know I don't need to dodge, so can I get... I wonder, is this the one with the highest defense? No, this one I think is. Let me think. Um, oh, this one has higher defense. Oh yeah, at 20,000 it's gotta be, okay. And let's see, did that make it? Yeah, that made it work, okay. So let's try let me look one more time. I want to compare this. Okay, this actually does do more damage. So if I could just get above it, maybe this will work out. Okay. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Here we go. Let's see. I can just whittle away at it. Maybe this will do it. Okay. 
thing. Let's see. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, still a little bit too much. I think that I we'll have to just grind and see if I can skill up and uh, find better pieces because. Man, that thing's devastating me. I feel like there's got to be a trick to it, too, that I just don't know yet. So, let's try this Advanced Mercenary Certification. During real missions, you can expect enemy reinforcements and other changes to the situation. Tests and advanced mercenaries, their ability to adjust to a wide range of combat scenarios and adapt their AC assembly to meet the needs of the mission. Just change the AC on the fly though, so I'm not sure we're supposed to be in. Your name launcher makes a huge explosion. I like it. That's it. Yeah, wow. It's a short training. Incoming cars. Congratulations on your certification. You have proven your skills by completing the entire combat training regimen. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. All Mind anticipates excellent performance. <laughs> Alright, nice. Advanced Mercenary completed all combat training. Nice. Okay. I'm surprised we didn't get a weapon or something, but oh well. Okay. Let's see, what else can we do? I'm still surprised I got a D on this one. That's uh, interesting to me. Looks like I don't have the battle log for it either. I assume the ones that don't have pending mean that there's not one to get. See, I think I saw one that I wanted to try to get. Is it here? Yeah. We'll just uh, take our time and see if we can find the enemy. Gun Main system activating combat mode. Group AC 
squad red guns report for duty. Commence mission. I just want to turn around and look behind me, see if there's uh, anything back here. seeing a trailer there's somebody like down the ice somewhere that you had to fight maybe it's here before anything else I'm so used to fall damage in games that every now and then I freak out when my AC is headed towards a great height and falling from it So let's get back up there. Well, us real red guns are gonna go climb the wall. This is just target practice. When we're done, the local's little base is next. Good five. Can't take yourself away from chatting with a tag along. Why don't you start a sewing club together and stitch that damn mouth of yours shut? Still nothing. Okay. I'm just kind of keep creeping along, see what we can find. A couple over there. Okay. Got too caught up in searching for my uh, combat log. So he's going to the right, so I'm going to go to the left and see if there's something up here that I'll try over on the right. Ah, yeah, here's something different. I don't think I've seen these guys. Interesting, okay. Oh, is there something more up here? I do see a guy up there with a laser or something. Heading, so I don't think I want to go up that way yet. I want to instead kind of hover around and explore the map. So let's go back a little bit to that area to the left that I was talking about a minute ago. Okay, there's a dude up on top of the dam. Two of them actually. Boundary. Okay. So that means nothing to see there. Oh, here's something new. So I don't think I've fought this one before. Yep, it's got a combat log in here. Let's see.
There we go. finish the level. Okay. Good. Might try to get the combat log on another one of the pending levels too. We'll see. bigger at each other. Okay, I think I just have to take out this guy. I expected to get a D because I was collecting the combat logs. And I wonder if I get just one more, does that mean I unlock a secret prize? Let's see. Alright, uh, which one are we on to now? I saw it ranked on this one. Okay. Complete, complete, pending. On wall climber, okay. So let's just do it again. We'll spend our sweet time looking around for guys to fight. Bound to be somebody. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. We'll start by clearing the way for Archibus. Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city and the Bows Tetrapod MT further in. There's heavy fire coming from up top. 621, keep an eye out for cover. You'll never climb the wall, Corporation hmm. Dog! Coral, abide with Rubicon! I'm not seeing anybody in particular. For somebody down here. This could be where something's at. I never went down in this area. Okay. Oopsie. I feel like there's maybe a higher chance that whoever it is I'm supposed to fight is outside of the wall instead of inside, but let's go way back and see what we can find. Might do a little hovering around to see if I can find an enemy. Okay, so that's where the limit is. Okay. Is this 
go ahead and hop up here and we'll start taking out these turrets too. Funsies. Since we're not going for rank, we won't worry about using the repair kit, so. There you go. Somebody was shooting at me from the ground, so let's see. At least a lower elevation. Who else? Oh, seems I've got a couple more artillery or something to take out. Here we go. somebody over this way. Oh, no, there is our boundary line. Sure enough. Okay. Just keep looking. In the meantime, oh, somebody is taking it. Oh. Hmm. Maybe there's an empty lower down or something. Ah, no. There's the heart cut off. Looked like it was going to let me down in that area for a second. I suppose not. Oh, there's one of the artillery I missed. Or laser cannons, whatever it is. There we go. Now we'll go get the tetrapod. Just don't want to give it any advantages. Take it out. Uh -oh. Buildings recharge on. Oh, something else came up. Trying to sneak that one. I saw you. Alright, nice. Where is this guy? Oh, it's another artillery on this. Get the vertical climb with the tetrapod, at least on as I have it configured. Alright. I don't think the enemy that we're looking for is out over this way. Surely we would have seen it. Hmm. But I do want to go back over this way one more time just because. I wonder if that oil battery went away since I did the bows fight. So that would be a sneaky way to hide it without me noticing is dropping that world boundary. And it's just sitting out over here hanging out, waiting for me to come over. No, nope, it's still here. Alright, I'm gonna assume that that fight is not here for now. We'll move forward. Hmm. 
it's, it's just a closed room. Nothing to find. There we go. And well, one well-placed grenade launch is uh, pretty good. Okay. Let's see another closed room, so I don't see anybody special being in here. Destroy these guys for fun. No, we don't have to. Actually, it's giving me 2400 credits for the one I destroy. Maybe I'll do that. There should be a lift nearby. The target is close. Okay. I mean, it's the juggernaut, right? I mean, I don't know what else to do. I have to look up the location of this guy because I thought I combed the area pretty well, but maybe I didn't. Hmm. Oopsie. Didn't mean to slap that one. I've dispatched a supply, Sherpa. Make sure you resupply. I think this is first level we actually have the resupply. I think it's cool. Okay, let's see. Yep, this is it. So, I don't know where we're gonna get stuff. There's no going beyond this barrier. Nope, they won't even let me up there on the ledge. Makes sense. I swear the vertical launcher could come in handy, I would be willing to bet. Down the half. This is me four. Understood. Raven, I just got an update from Snail and Command. We've got enemy reinforcements incoming. If I don't intercept them, we're both toast. I hate to leave you like this, but you'll have to finish without me. He's gone. So much for our decoy. Here we go. Yeah, this tetrapod hover is just the best thing. Should be able to make mince meat on this guy pretty soon. It's really not even a challenge anymore. Crazy. at that time. Confirmed. Juggernaut destroyed. Operation Wall Climber is a success. Nice. That pilot, Rusty. It seems he knew who you really are. It won't matter. I've taken that contingency into account. Oh, let's see. Did I actually move up? I think I was on a D before. Let me double check. 
I can't remember what I had on that one. Ah, I've got to be on it before. So I still didn't find it, though. Um, what other levels? So there's one on this one. This is a big level, though. Let me look a little bit at how much money we have now. We have 610, so maybe we can buy a really nice part and get us a little bit further along in things. Um, let's see, so this is a close and medium. I wonder if that could help against the spider, too. Um, you know, maybe I've also equipped boosters that are not the best thing for staying in the air. Um, jet duration, energy consumption, what else do we have? I think upward thrust might be the thing that we would care about the most. 480, 34. wonder how that compares. So that's that is up and energy consumption goes down so maybe that could help I'll buy it and what else could we do the reverse joints I just don't feel like they're the right thing for this hmm 313 for this set of legs jumping up in the air though could that be a good thing hmm. I don't know maybe we'll buy it too and what else do we have arms recoil control melee looks like a lot of them if I switched it would mess up my load loadout so what about cores All these have a decrease in defense, but increases on a couple of other things. I wonder if pursuing them might be a good idea. Now what about these heads? I want to see if there's anything that makes our flying better. Not significantly. We've got stat improvements in a few areas, but not amazingly. Alright, let's keep looking. Pulse shield. Pulse buckler, let's read the description. Yeah, I just don't know if those will work or not. Oh, a grenade cannon. That's better than what I currently have. Songbirds. Maybe I will get that. Plasma missile launcher. Let's get the songbirds. We'll give the spider one more try with our new things equipped. What is this thing? Uh, the vertical missile launcher with four. Okay. The weight goes down quite a bit. Um, but the damage difference might be a problem. Split missile launcher. And let's see what else we might want to get. If anything. I don't know. Some of these higher price things. Perhaps, um, but I'm not sure. We'll keep going. Okay, so let's go into here, assembly, and see what we want to do. I feel like I need to go for impact. Forty-one, sixty-five, one thirty-five. Anything better than one thirty-five? The detonating bazooka might be the highest. Let's try it, actually. Okay. And I had a few other new pieces, the songbirds, that I want to put on. I think it may be in here. Yeah. Okay. So that's for the left. And then I get something new for the right. I feel like it did. Maybe I did not. Okay. And do you think I had a let's try the reverse joint and 
we'll try gotta do something to get our weight down a little bit I think um, let's see that's still not enough wonder what else we could get I don't think jumping is going to be the way to beat this boss. I still think that the air might be the best. I don't know. We're going to keep looking though. Okay, we still don't have load down to where we need it to be. What else can we get some weight reduction on? This one weighs 7420. This might put us pretty close. Okay, we're still overburdened by a little bit. Um, what else? Maybe taking out the grenade launcher. Something else will be an improvement. I really don't want to get rid of the other things. Um, let's just take the head down, I suppose. Why did our load get so low? Maybe I have to go back to this? Oh, that's because I'm on the bipedal still. The uh, other one. Let's see, 15,800. Okay. I just really can't carry as much. Can't improve there really. Forty-seven thousand eight twenty. Um, what else? That's only gonna lose forty. That's not enough. Thirty-four twenty. Yeah, this is just too overloaded. I think. Um, yeah, I I really don't think that these legs are gonna work out. So let's go back to this and we will kind of rebuild stuff. Okay. We sacrificed a lot to get down to here, so let's see what we can do. Um, we'll go for impact. Double bazookas, I think. I have no idea if that'll work, but we'll try. And we want to try songbirds out two we've got it okay now we've got to get the arms back okay and let's go ahead and what has the best weight 15800 okay try to keep the weight down just a little bit all right no idea if this is going to help or not, but we will certainly try. Let's see, there was something about this one that I liked. Hmm. Upwards thrust, I think was what it had. This one has best upwards thrust. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Oops. Okay. One more attempt at this. It's too bad it won't let us just jump all the way forward to the boss fight. But we'll give it, I don't know, three or four attempts. See if it feels good. And if not, um, we'll call it a day. Here we go, tourist. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. I decided to try out the uh, song for it's on the enemy. This elevator goes straight to the top of the grid, without a shell. Sadly, that's beyond my territory. I mean, once you're out there, the PCA satellites see everything. A few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge, went out to prove themselves. You can guess what happened. We've arrived at the top. 
Focus on dodging. Here we go. Oh, may not into it. Two repair kits remaining. Well, nowhere to hide now. Here we go. Ooh, wow. Getting this impact is gonna make the difference. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? Keep the commentary low while uh, remain focused. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. The fire spy is made. This is the trick to this one. Staying high, using explosives, getting that impact super high. Okay, I'm gonna land to take care of myself. Booster. Back up in the air. Ready to go. Right with him. <laughs> sneaky sneaky. Boost up now. Come on, buddy. Come on, somebody left. He's up in the air now. Ah, oh, did not expect that. We did see that little victory lap that they do when they won, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised but still. Sword. 
This really is all about getting the best thing. Jeez. Right, let's get away. Wow. They were using coal for fuel. That was quite the show, tourist. How about we get back on track? Hop in the container. I'll operate the launcher from here. Okay, well, this game really is all about the strategy. I uh, did not think I would beat it after unlocking just a few things today, but it worked. You see it too, don't you? The voices of the coral. Currents coursing across Rubicon. Walter was correct in his judgment. Here, in this desolate place. Okay. Sweet. Maybe I can get one more part. Augmented human, C4621. Entering standard mode. Two new messages. Looks like you've made it to the central ice field, 621. Good. I'm done tying up loose ends. Archibus found their own way in and are ready to deploy survey squads. And it looks like Balaam's come running after you scoped out the place, too. You know what's going to happen. Business as usual. But, you can make it work for us. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. D-rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. These correspond to the middle ranks. We invite you to further hone your technique.
Okay. More mercenaries to fight in the arena. Raven. I was looking into the arena, and I discovered something you might want to know about. It's a network service that was labeled Nest, with no obvious clues about its purpose. From what I can tell, it's a special mercenary support program, encrypted and kept secret. I've installed a back door, so you'll have no trouble getting in as you please. Huh, interesting. I wonder what this nest is. Let's check out Online Battle Simulator. Ah, uh, okay. That's what it is. Okay. Maybe I'll check that out later and see. I'm thinking that might be multiplayer, but I'm not super interested in it at this time. Um, so, yeah, we got our D ranked fights are available, and I'll probably do that next stream. It looks like we get three chips per fight, so we can do some nice OS tuning after we complete those. We 12 more pieces, so nice. Um, let's look in here and see what new parts we have. Oh, a new assault rifle, the Scudder. Um, that sounds pretty lovely. New burst machine gun. Nice. Um, the shotgun I think is new. These look like they're upgrades on basically all the basic stuff we have so far. The Sweet 16 shotgun. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. A majestic bazooka. What else we have? Stun bomb launcher, the therapist. <laughs> um That's a pretty funny name. A little bit messed up, but funny. Pulse gun, the GUA2 Wonder. Is that only available? Is that the same that was on the other one? Looks like we have a. What was that? Scudder, Burst Machine, the Zimmerman. Let's see, Bazooka. I think it's largely the same weapons, just mirroring each arm. So yeah, that is a new Pulse gun, because I think. Sula had this one because I don't think it had the four. It had this big piece. So less ammo, but more attack power and impact and stuff. Weight goes up by about 500. And this stun baton's new too. Um, I don't think that was available on the other arm. Yeah. So the stun baton, repeat attacks induce a forced electrical discharge effect on inflicted craft. Huh. Well, that's cool. All right, what else we have? Dual missile launcher. And I think that's probably just an upgrade overall. Yeah, fires looks like two more attack power rounds, so that'll be better. Okay, keep going. I think that maybe it was a new pulse shield. Okay. Another dual missile. And a new head. The Basho. The Basho. Okay. Oh, a new core, too. I think of this is like the, uh, was it Mad Stomp that had this? One of the ACs that I fought at it. Okay, new arms as well. Yep. That's gotta be what these are all about. Uh, spring chicken reverse joint. <laughs> I like the name of it. This is a heavyweight one too, so load limit only goes down by a little over 1500, so that's not bad. The new tank treads too. Fortaleza. That's cool. Looks like I'm gonna have to really save up money for a bit. Okay. Ooh, new booster. Huh, okay. They sound interesting. And what do we have here? A medium and long range assist FCS. New generator. Um, hmm. Looks like a decent improvement overall. 
only minor step downs on everything that's affected. That's pretty good. I wonder if that's good enough to go ahead and get, but what kind of weight? Oh, it actually drops weight by 30. Or no, the energy goes up. Okay, by 470. Weight does go up by 1500 though. Okay. All right, well, I think that's probably all for the moment. Um, we will definitely check out our next mission. Um, maybe do some arena next time as well to unlock some emblems and such. And we'll go ahead and roll credits for now and say thanks for watching. This has been ST Rank. You can follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at ST Rank on each of those. And I will have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.